What's up, it's John Line, guys. Welcome back to Hitman Blood Money. This is Chapter 4. When we last left off, we had just did Curtains Down. Um, it didn't go quite how I expected it to go. I think something screwed up along the way somehow. I don't fully know, but in any case, I just ran with it. I, uh, I was half tempted to restart, but then I thought about it, and I was like, no, no. So, we ran with it. Uh, it didn't turn out too good. Obviously, my notoriety went up, but I, uh, bribed the chief of police, so it just went back down to zero. So now we're about to do Flatline. You think that was 47-2? We knew it was. We were so confident we set up an international task force to hunt him down and destroy him. Even assuming this guy exists, he's still just an assassin. What's the big deal? The big deal? He's the perfect clone. His DNA is a how-to manual for any cloning lab in the world. With Mr. 47 in their clutches, there'd be nothing to stop a rogue state from building an entire platoon of 47s. A whole army. These public statements you've been making against cloning, is this what it's all about? Of course. But surely you can't oppose all the uses of cloning. The medical advances, the possible curing of- Medicine won't do us much good if we're all the slaves of some clone army dictatorship, will it? Off the record, Jack. You're not serious. You have no idea how serious. That's why we had to eliminate 47. Having him on the loose was just too dangerous. Why not go after whoever created him? Oh, we did. But whenever we got too close, our agents got killed. By 47? See for yourself. March 31st, 2004. <clears throat> 11.45. I'm sorry we have to meet like this. It's dangerous to meet in person. You're normally more prudent. What's going on? Looks like we've got a mole at the agency. Here's your briefing. Thanks. I'll read it later. How's that wound healing? Fine. Are we done here? One thing. We haven't been able to get a positive ID on the target. There's a government agent in there already, though we think he knows. The price for his knowledge is getting him out alive. And that raises my price. Already factored in. Take this. Designer poisons? The clinic only lets clients out when they're fully recovered or dead. The injection puts its victim into a hibernatory state. Apply the antidote on the lips to revive them. What if this agent's already dead? I trust you, 47. The money's been transferred to your account. It's good to have you back, 47. I'm glad to hear you're fully recovered. Your next assignment's in Northern California. Three mobsters have been checked into a rehab clinic for alcoholics. One of them plans to turn state's witness as soon as he's discharged. Our client wants to avoid that, but we don't know which of the three is the target. An undercover agent placed at the clinic to find out hasn't been heard from in a few days. The clinic will only discharge patients if they're sober or dead. The agent who's in there is apparently being kept drunk for unknown reasons, so you'll have to kill him to get him out, but we need him alive. We're giving you an experimental serum that'll give him the appearance of being dead, along with the antidote to bring him back once you're out. Something's very wrong at this clinic, 47. Keep your eyes open. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and look at the upgrades, obviously. Let's go to equipment first. There's nothing else new. That means probably nothing else new for my silver ballers, either. Yeah. Alright, so we'll sit on our money for a little bit here, then. Uh, I'm definitely going to take the silver ballers. Eh, actually, you know what? Silver baller, sorry, I should get used to saying that. Yeah, no, I'm going to leave it this time. Thought about it, and you know what? I can't take it with me. Well, I mean, I could. There's ways I could get it in, but I'm not going to bother with that. Let's see if I can uh, silent assassin this. 
I know the last one didn't go all too well, but new day. Well, I mean, it's not a new day. It's the same day I was growing the last one in, but new mission. How about that? I'm going to take those. <clears throat> I think he's going to go tell the guard because he's seen me take his papers. If he does, then I'm screwed because I don't have any weapons on me. You know, the not so nice one. It kind of looks like Welcome. Fun. You'll be staying in room A. Just step into the dressing room, change into a robe, and leave your clothes and personal effects for safety. All right. I'm gonna make sure I don't have anything and I don't know. The reason I have all these different things is because one is the death serum and the other is the antidote. And I have my regular syringes, of course. Gonna have to search you, sir. <clears throat> That's why I didn't bring my gun with me. Thanks. You're all set. Alright, so first off, I'm not gonna worry about anything yet. Now, there's a way to uh, casually take care of everyone, but I'm not going to start the setup yet just because. Didn't want the binoculars. Tell you the truth, I have no idea if anyone's going to enter that room. Where am I? That's right where I'm looking at. Sure, that's a TMP right there in that uh gun thing. Now before I hide his body, gotta take his clothes. Uh, take that. Yeah, normally I'm a lot faster and fluent with uh any kind of actions like this. But like I said, it's just awkward because just the buttons. I would figure E would be like the more uh, stun gun. Didn't want that that TMP. You would just figure that um another stun gun in there. I don't want either. You would figure that like E in space would be backwards. But do I not have a? There it is, right there. I was gonna say you get one here. I know you do. Now, the thing I did before that was I took the video camera tape because we are going to get recorded by cameras somewhere. I can't remember where. But in any case, when that happens, I won't have to worry about anything. Excuse me, I had to sneeze, but I didn't want to break my focus here. Now, this is what I was waiting for. There's a second guard here that, um, he goes outside for a smoke break, but he stays, like, on these catwalks here. So what I'm waiting for is when he turns around to go outside is when I'll come back over.
It does go around the corner for some coffee. It's just as easy as I could sedate, like, put the thing in that. But then, pretty sure this guy will see the fact that he goes out. And plus, that doesn't help me anyways. I need this guy to be gone. So overall, it's just easier to get rid of this first guy. The one that's sitting in the chair. And I should have picked up the key while I was in there. Because there's a key right on that desk that would unlock this door. Okay. I gotta wait a second. Because of that. As soon as I can't see him, I know he can't see me. Take the body all the way over here. Let's go ahead and drop the body there. Take that. I need that cell key. Take the stun gun, because why not? Tell you the truth, thinking about it now, I find this game, I don't know. I was going to say I find this game easier, but it could just be the the experience I have with this game. Because I, I've played this game a lot, so. Oops, get down from there before that guy sees. This guy should look you. familiar. I should have known. Sedating me. Psychotropics. The things they've done. <sighs> Figures. They'd send you to clean up my mess. Th this is the guy. Here. I'm getting you out of here. They'll never let me out alive. I know. Now... One thing I forgot right now, and which is bad because we're already in chapter four. Forgot to have subtitles on. Uh, be careful! Don't give him the poison because that will kill him. <laughs> give him the death serum. So I mean, I didn't even have to take out. I thought I did, but you can just walk over and press sedate. Identity obtained. Executing rest of assignment. Splendid, 47. It might interest you to know the following. A sudden shift in the delicate power balance of the New York families. Two low-level contracts just came in. In addition to your primary target, two members of the same group are currently staying at the facility. Terminating either will result in a $50,000 bonus per head. It's entirely up to you. Understood. Now, you already know we're going to kill all three. Now, two of the three are really easy to do. There's just one specific one that isn't easy. But, uh, it's not entirely hard either. We're going to keep with this door because, uh... With this door. Jesus. I can't multitask. We'll keep with this outfit because it's going to be the easiest for us. Now, the first one I'm going to want to do... The poison ready. Where is everyone right now? over there. I might have to wait for cycle change. I can definitely get this guy. As long as I'm super careful here. Trying to watch everything that's going on too. So I have to get good timing here or I will fuck it up. Away from that super quick. I'm 
You seem to shrink. Go ahead and poison that. That's going to take care of the second guy. And then, last but not least, I'm going to come up here. So they just found his body, but that's completely fine. It was an exercise accident. Last but not least, is I'm going to come over here. We're going to sabotage this guy's gas rig here. What that's going to do is, next time he goes to uh, do anything with his crock putt, it's going to blow up, and I'm going to make sure that guy doesn't see me on the roof here. So that could be bad. So now all we have to do is kind of play the waiting game. While we do that, we're going to actually head down that way so that I can go get the, uh, the agent. Everything else will kind of fall into place. I don't know. So the main target wasn't the guy that I killed. That was the secondary target. The main target looks to be the guy that uses the crock pot. And then the other secondary target is the guy that's going to take the drink. <laughs> Got to be careful over there. Like I said, everything's going to kind of just fall into place, which will be nice. Let's go ahead and revive him. Love how I've seen his eyes blink. Now they're closed. I know you guys seen that too. So now we're just gonna wait around. Unfortunately, because I know I know that's you know it's not my favorite thing either. But I gotta wait for these two to go and do their thing. Like I said, this guy should be the one that goes to take a drink, and that guy will be the one that goes and uh, activates the crock pot. It's going to be a shame because I'm going to get this mission silent assassin as well. And so far the only one that I haven't is uh, curtains down. But there are other ones that are harder for lack of a better word. But uh, other ones that I probably won't silent assassin so it's okay. But yeah no I was going to say that this game is definitely easier than the others and that could be it. Because there is like a lot of the, the stuff the mechanics rather in this game make the game easier. But I don't think it's just the fact that it's the mechanics. I also think it's the fact that, um, make sure no one's coming down here. Okay, so he's getting ready to take a drink, which means he'll head up soon. Anyways, though, I don't think it's just solely the mechanics. I also think it has something to do with the fact that, uh, um, I lost my train of thought now, which is pretty bad. I've played this game a lot. That's what it is. Now, this medical wind tunnel, which goes... As far as I'm concerned, it goes from here to here, the morgue. You can't access ever. So I don't know why they give you that map there. There might be a certain way to access it. I don't really know, but... Agent Smith looking buff as hell. Look at him. Even we're looking buff as hell. You see all the veins and stuff? Oh my god. Definitely better than Absolution. It looks tiny. So the one guy is just about to take a drink of his drink. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I had no idea that he came in here. So the guy that takes a drink is dead now. Last but not least is Crockpot guy. You would think that this guy would be suspicious. He'd be like, you know, what's going on here? Because, you know, this guy's supposed to be dead. Plus he's in here with an orderly. I guess it's not suspicious though. Crockpot guy, just like that. Looks like our work there is done. We have one total kill, two accidents, one body found. Silent Assassin. Not a very hard mission, a Silent Assassin. 
Um, you don't have to follow that to a T. I mean, the guy that takes a drink, he also goes into like a little sauna area. If you push him while he's in the pool and he falls into the pool, he will drown. Period. As broken as that is. And then uh, the guy that wait, uh, lifts late weights, he goes outside and I believe you can get him out there. And then the other guy with the crock pot. That's the best way to get him is the crock pot, but I believe there's another way too. Silent assassin wanted by police. Absolutely no kill of the killers. Absolutely no clue as I stutter my words. I forgot to look at the paper to show where we're going next. Um, This is the next hint, I'm pretty sure. The Sunny Del Mar. Anyways. Go ahead and save it. And through that, I'm going to end the video too. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, give them the say, comment down below, and subscribe and share. It really helps me out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.